hello welcome back to my channel so i got a pre-order i got it really early um it's this giant box right here that is taller than these fake presents i stacked um i'm so excited to share her with you guys you might be able to see right here um it's a fairy tale figure and if you couldn't guess by the size um Feels like she's almost up to my shoulder, oh my gosh. This is a bunny girl figure. This is Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tale as a one-fourth scale freeing bunny girl. So happy, so happy. We have been blessed um, that someone, another girl from Fairy Tale was made into a bunny girl. So Ariza um from fairy tale was made into a bunny girl a while ago i still don't know why they haven't re-released her because lucy came out don't know they should they need to release her because she's really expensive now but i'm hoping that they release her so then lucy and erza can be together yes so i um i watched fairy tale a while ago when i was a kid and i really loved it I've cosplayed Lucy a while ago. Um, you can't find any pictures of it now because a while ago and I found it really cringe. So I archived all the posts. But I love her. Hopefully I'll cosplay her again one day. Maybe in a bunny suit version so I can be a bunny girl. Anyway, that was cool about this figure. Um, is not only is she a bunny girl, she's giant. Her bunny suit, whoops. Her bunny suit is red. Um, there's a lot of standard of black bunny suits, but it feels like Freeing is starting to change that, which is very nice. Um, I love the classic black bunny suit, honestly, but I know a lot of people have been complaining that it's just black and they could really, Freeing could really like experiment with different colors that like match the character more or something. I like her and Lucy. I also think she would have looked good in a black bunny suit personally or a white one. Um, red is very sexy on her though and I, I think it suits her. I like maybe a pink to match her fairy tale tattoo. Either way it would have been awesome. Like I love her. I was going to get her no matter the color of the bunny suit was because I, I really do like her. So yeah as you can see this is the box. Um, She's tall. I might have to measure her because my tallest figure, I think, is um, 0 2 still, I think. Um, so, yeah, anyway, this is her box. She is official merch. I pre ordered her off of Amazon Japan. There have been a lot of shipping increases. Shipping increases, not in crisis. Um, well, it kind of is a crisis for us figure collectors. She's authentic, by the way. Um, so Amazon Japan is really nice because they only offer DHL and you get the price up front. So it was about $50 US dollars or like 5,000 yen. I'm estimating obviously, um, to ship her to me from Japan to the US, which is a really good deal, especially with Amiami. Ami their prices have increased a lot I've seen, so yeah, I recommend Amazon Japan. And the link to the product of Lucy where I bought her or pre-ordered her will be in the link in the description down below. So if you want her, make sure to check that out. And before I get to unboxing her, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and maybe, maybe you like this video. It helps a lot. Um, I know a lot of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, like 95% of you, which is kind of a yikes because that's, that's a lot, that's a high percentage, that's very high. So make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications. Okay, yeah, it helps a lot, thanks. Anyway, I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. So here's Lucy in her giant box. Um, she is so tall um this is her box so i'm gonna show you guys like an extra close-up i really like how um this doesn't have a see-through window 
because what happens if there's a see-through window, the figure isn't protected as much. Because that's plastic and not cardboard, and cardboard is kind of thicker than plastic. So it, it helps protect your figure more. Um, you might be kind of nervous, I guess. Um, <laughs> going to unbox her though, because you can't see her. So yeah, there's that. She looks so cute. It looks like there's some blush right there, which looks adorable. Um, I hope that's true to the actual figure as well. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I love Lucy. I also love Arizona. I do enjoy Fairy too. So I'm so happy that Lucy got a bunny girl figure as well. Um, I don't own the Arizona bunny girl figure yet, but it's definitely a holy grail figure of mine and I'm hoping, hoping so much that they re-release her because I would rather not pay aftermarket prices because it's, it's a lot. Anyway though, I'm going to take her out. So I took out the directions just in case, but they were, they're pretty self-explanatory. So basically it's just saying you take out the bunny, the half bunny ears, and put the new ones in. And then it says this is the right way to put them in the wrong way. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. I'm just feeling the edges because sometimes they put tape there, so... Anyway, this is Lucy. Um, she looks pretty good so far. Her boobas look massive and a lot pointier than I thought that they would be. Um, her base is black, which is interesting. Um, and it's like the Konosuba and Skylik bunny girl figures where there's like a, I don't know, these, these lines, I guess. And I assume that's to help support the base because it's a big figure. It's hard to turn her around because she's so big, sorry. Okay, well she looks pretty good, so let's 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 open it up and assemble her. This is going to be loud because of the plastic, but you know. There is tape, I just found it. That was that was stressful. Um, I was very scared <laughs> that I might break something. Um, so let's go with the base first. So this is the base. It has her little the clear foot peg. Um, it doesn't look like there's another foot piece, so I think her shoe just goes in there. Interesting. There might be though. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be black. Honestly, I wish. I say I'd prefer it to be white. But it is what it is, so I'm going to use the dinner. So now this is Lucy. I will very carefully take off the plastic. And slide her out. She looks really cute. I love the blush. They did a good job with that. Um, in real life, and I guess on camera, her hair looks a lot like yellow, like bright yellow. I wish maybe it wasn't so bright yellow and maybe like toned down a little bit. Like still blonde, but not like blonde yellowish. Um, very cute. Very big boobs. I don't know. I don't assume that she's a cast off. 
I don't think so. It looks like there's something extra, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I don't want to risk it. She looks really good. Her legs look nice. Uh, her little twin tails have her little blue hair ties, I guess. Her nails look so cute. And she has her fairy tale tattoo right there. I'm going to take these bunny ears out and put her little bunny ears in. So this says that the folded ear is supposed to be on the left. So I assume it's going to be this one. Oh lord. I know it's just me, but I'm so, I get so like stressed and nervous, I guess, trying to, um, like, assemble figures because I'm scared I might break something like terrified I might break something um yeah it looks like that's it I don't see any foot pieces so yeah she looks she looks good so I'm gonna put this to the side and then get her base out So I assume this, yeah, this foot goes in. Oh, okay, it seems to be a really nice fit. Um, let's see about the other foot. The other foot is a lot harder. Okay, I got it, I got it, she's on. Mission accomplished. So, um, she does look really good. Here, I'll hold her closer so you guys can kind of see her. Um, I really, I really like her. Um, she looks so cute. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to give you guys some close-ups of her. So, this is Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tale. Um, she looks amazing. You can kind of see the blush. Um, I wish that they did a little bit more because on the box it looked like the, there was more. Like it'd be more visible, especially from far away. And her lips look nice. They do look glossy. I wish that there was a little bit more color to them though. Like some lipstick or something because I feel like Lucy would totally wear that. Um, her boobas are giant as per usual. Um... The thing I don't really understand though is why are they so pointy? Like they were kind of pointy in the in the like prototype pictures, but like in real life, they look really pointy, which makes me think maybe she's like a forced cast off or something. But I'm not totally sure. Um, maybe not. I don't know, cause here it looks like it just kind of ends. But I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to attempt to rip it off or anything. Um, her hair looks really good. Again, though, I wish it was, like, not so bright yellow. Um, in real life, it doesn't look as bright as on camera, but it's still noticeable. So I wish it wasn't so much, like, neon yellow. Um, because she is a blonde, a bright blonde, but I don't think it's, like super bright yellow blonde in my opinion um her bunny tail looks awesome unfortunately it's not realistic which kind of bums me out i wish freeing did realistic cotton tail still um her butt looks nice her fishnets look awesome um they are real her base um it's 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 okay it's big um, it is big. I wish it was white, honestly, instead of black. Um, like, I'm just so used to the white bases, it feels weird with it being black. 
And like, unlike the other bases that were similar to this, um, you can't see through it. So you can't see the pattern, like, of the lines and stuff. Which, which makes me feel like it's just a plain black base and I really prefer the white, I think, over black. Just because I'm so used to it, so it feels weird again. Here's her little hand. Very nice. Her hands look adorable. Love her nails. I also love her little, the little ties here. And her pigtail hair ties are blue, which I really like. Because Lucy wears a lot of blue in the anime. So red is kind of a contrast color, I guess. But she looks so good in it. Because, like, she's hot. She looks good in everything and anything, pretty much. But she's adorable. I love the way her ears are posed, honestly. It looks like there's a little error right there. Because some of the, like, peg part, the pattern part, is sticking up. But from far away, you can't really notice it, so I don't really care. Um, her face looks great. I love her eyes. I honestly really like her pose. It's really cute. Um, maybe instead of, like, her saluting her hand, though, like, what if she, like, had it behind her head or something with her hand like this? I think that might have looked better, honestly. Um, something with her arm still up like this, but maybe not like a salute. Um, cause it, it looks cute, but like also kind of weird, I guess, cause it looks like she's saluting in a bunny suit, which in my opinion, that's kind of weird. So I wish maybe like they had her hand like right there, or like touching her hair or behind her head, something where her arm's still up in that position, but her hand isn't in a salute. Um, like, maybe, like, the hand behind head would be, like, a little bit more, like, an embarrassed pose or something. Um, something that's more cute and not, like, salute, which is a little weird. But she looks good. The sculpt looks good. The painting looks really good. Love the red bunny suit. There's, like, a lighter shading where her nipples are. Um, so, yeah. And, like, there's kind of a lighter shading up here. Which is a lot harder to show on camera, honestly. Love the folds in her bunny suit. Beautiful. And of course how shiny the bunny suit is. And her heels as well. And then again, there's only one like metal peg with the... Um, what do you call it? The plastic piece. And then there's like only one black peg from the base there. Let me know what you think. Um, have you watched Fairy Tale, by the way? What do you think of this figure of Lucy? I like it. I feel like Fairy Tale doesn't get a lot of figures, which kind of bumps me out. So I'm so happy Lucy got added to the Bunny Girl line. Really hope they release, re release Erza, though. I like need a re release. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check out all my links in the description. Make sure to follow me on all your social media and make sure if you haven't yet to subscribe, like this video, turn on post notifications. Um, I love her so much. I really like her. Um, she's beautiful. I recommend her if you really like Lucy or Fairy Tail and you're into collecting bunny girls or are interested in it. She would be a good first bunny, I think. She's so beautiful. She's from a popular anime and a really cool character. And her bunny suit looks really good. She looks she looks good as a figure, in my opinion. Like, there are some things I wish that were changed or done differently. But overall, she's good. That's why I got her and I'm adding her to my collection. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!